Good morning, everyone. I'm Ariana Aaron Bureau with your FastCast digital headlines for this Friday, taking a look at today's top story in a late joint session. Lawmakers voted against overriding the governor's K-12 funding veto. The vote was 33 to 26, 12 short of the 45 needed to override a veto. But on the House side, it was a different story as the House voted 19 to 21 against. Remember, this goes back to last year when lawmakers passed a funding boost of $175 million for K-12 schools. But the governor vetoed half of the amount at roughly 87 million, which would have had a key impact on increasing the base student allocation. An update on SNAP benefits. As of today, there are 6,500 applications or renewals that have yet to be processed. Department of Health Commissioner Heidi Hedberg hopes to have the backlog completely cleared by the end of February. She says one thing that is helping, the department has temporarily stopped doing in-person interviews, even though it's required by the federal government. And in the future, things should go more smoothly as they've recently added an online application for SNAP benefits. Where did these come from? Because we knew immediately that they did not represent the true, accurate picture of how high a 60, that's six and a half stories. There is no way you can tell anyone that what you show there is six and a half stories. Chugach Electric's proposal to rebuild its substation in the Bayshore Clatt neighborhood was met with opposition from most of the Bayshore Clatt Community Council and community members. It would bring a nearly 65-foot tower and new landscaping to a corner of a four-way stop on the south side. Chugach Electric submitted a conditional use permit to the municipality in June, which it says was approved unanimously by the Planning and Zoning Commission. The Southport Master Association did file an appeal to that conditional use permit which is still ongoing. And the CDC is expanding its warning about the risk of salmonella in charcuterie meat. There are now a total of 47 reported illnesses in 22 states linked to the Buceto brand charcuterie sampler. Now, Alaska currently is not on the list of places where cases have been reported, but at Costco, it went by the name Grand Beretta. People who eat foods contaminated with salmonella can suffer from numerous ailments, including fever and vomiting. And those are your fast cast digital headlines for this Friday. I'm Ariane Arambiro. Have a great day and thanks for watching.